The Xfinity race, uh, I mean, came up just a little bit short on on making that race. Tell me about just that process and and, and what happened there. I mean, you guys, in, in case people don't know, because I know that some folks don't understand exactly how the, how this all this works. Owner points, uh, you know, I mean, you you guys didn't have any coming in that kind of put you behind the eight ball to begin with. It was it, it was tough uh, going in ahead of time as is. Yeah, uh, man, Tyler, uh, no, no doubt about it. You know, I never even, you know, in a million years considered what happened to us. You know, it never crossed my mind. You know, uh, I don't believe, I've, I've, you know, I can't remember. It's been years. can't remember the last time we didn't make a race, you know. And, and um, you know, when I, uh, when Bobby Dodder and Jason Miller came to me about, racing the second car for SS Greenlight Racing and driving a Ford uh, Mustang with Ralph Shades power underneath the hood, man, that's, that's all I needed to hear, you know, and uh, I was in, you know, and especially with uh, my teammate Joe Graff Jr. Uh, being, a, you know, exclusive Ford manufacturer back Ford team, uh, I'm like, man, this is a great opportunity for me. Even though I had to give up five races throughout the season, I was okay with that. Uh, but man, I, I never, never even crossed my mind, buddy, that, uh, you know, that we were, you know, I knew we didn't have a provisional, but I'm like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, it's still, you know, you don't think about that kind of stuff, you know, it's never really ever happened to me. Uh, but, you know, once practice started, our Ford Mustang, you know, it, uh, I think our, our first run, our splitter was hitting the racetrack a little bit. And, you, you know, when your splitter's rubbing the track, that's you're just – that's scrubbing off speed. And we had a right rear wheel bearing that was getting washed out. The grease in the bearings getting washed out by the gear fluid, by the rear end gear oil, because we had these tiny axles in the rear end. And, uh, you know, but, but you know, once uh, we made our first run and – you know, it takes about 10, 15, 20 minutes to make a run because they're at a two, two and a half mile super speedway like Daytona. When you pull off pit road and uh, you come off the back straightaway, if you can see another car somewhere down the back straightaway or see it going into turn, turn three there at Daytona National Speedway, then they're disturbing the air enough where it's helping you. You know what I mean? So, to get a clean run, we only made two runs. It, it took us a while. And uh, once I made that first run, I uh, told Jason, hey, I think it's hitting the splitter pretty hard. They had to, they jacked the car up and was looking, looking it over. And obviously, they were going to have to raise the front of the car, you know, just, you know, a 16th or an 8th inch, whatever it was. Uh, and then they discovered that right rear hub leaking gear oil they had to fix that but when we finally made our our last run uh towards the end of the practice session you know we we picked up about four tenths and and ran a 50.14 which if that would have run that exact same time in qualifying we'd have made the race you know that was kind of like what's puzzled puzzled me about this but uh you know to me uh the ford the ford uh the Ralph Shades four power, which has always been awesome ever since I can remember, and I'm sure from you guys as well. Uh, Doug Yates, Robert Yates have always had, you know, pole winning Daytona super speedway cars. And, uh, you know, for some reason, it looked like to me like the four power cars were struggling. Uh, in practice, I, I saw a bunch of Chevrolets up near the front. And uh, uh, talking to Jason Miller, my crew chief, you know, we talked about things and, and uh, he said, hey, we're going to be great because uh, I didn't tape up the whole nose. We only had half the grill taped off and, and we didn't have max skew in the rear of the rear of the car to get the, you know, the spoiler out of the air. And, uh, you know, so we really thought we were going to run like a 4990. And uh, uh, we came back the next day. And, uh, man, we ran a 50.26, and I was shocked, man, because, you know, as a driver, there's not much you can do. You know, coming off turn two in practice, I'm shifting into fourth gear. Uh, but in qualifying mode, man, I got up through the gears quick, and I was way off into fourth gear way before I came off turn two. And you're scraping the wall. You're trying to make that lap as big and wide and get that car up to speed quickly. 
And, uh, you know, you, you just hold a pretty wheel. You know, when I say that, you don't want to turn the wheel left or right. You know, you don't want to have to turn the steering wheel any more than you need to. Because if you turn in the steering wheel, the front tires are turning, you're scrubbing off speed. And, uh, you know, I'm like, man, that was a that was a really great lap. And I was really surprised when I pulled down Pit, Pit Road and I heard, uh, and I was talking to Jason on the radio and he told me what we ran. I'm like, wow, that's, we went slower, uh, taping up the grill completely, max skew in the rear end. We didn't have all that the day before. We went slower. So, man, I, I was puzzled. And uh, or even at that, I still didn't think that we were going to go home. And I think the car, we were the first one to miss the race. And there were cars that qualified behind us that raced, you know what I mean? But from a, a time standpoint, I think the last car that got in on time ran a 50.22, and we were a 50.26. I mean, you can't even measure that, you know what I mean? That's, that's tight. But we never should have been, you know, we should have never should have been there. But, uh, you know, it seemed like to me, I mean, I know Ford, they got a great racing program and Roush Yates Motor have always been a powerhouse. And, and uh, but for the Xfinity side, that one lap that you need to qualify that everybody's got to run, I felt like the Ford, uh, the Roush Yates, you know, I don't know if it was a car or engine, but it struggled, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle uh, for speed. And I was talking to Jason Miller, my crew chief, and he said, this car that you're driving right now last year finished second in that race there at Daytona. And it qualified 15th, but it was a, it was a Chevrolet car then, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, and, and you're just puzzled, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, once you find out, hey, you know, it's a possibility we may not be in the race, man. It never even crossed my mind. And, and uh Man, it was, uh, you know, I'd be lying sitting here tell, telling you lies like somebody put a knife in my heart and twisted it. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember last time I didn't make a race, you know. And, man, especially at Daytona, man, our car looked great. Ticket Smarter, Digital Li, Brett Bear, Special Report. I mean, the car looked awesome. It was great. And, man, never did I ever think – in my wildest dream that we were going to go there and miss the race, you know, but, but, you know, uh, you know, we, we've, we've all been there. Somebody was just telling me the other day, I think Sunday at Daytona and say, Hey David, remember two or three years ago when Roger, a couple of Roger Penske cars didn't make the Indianapolis 500. I mean, it happens, you know, we had Jock Villeneuve was, we interviewed Saturday night and I didn't know this, but I guess he was down in Daytona. 13, 12 years ago, whatever it was, and he messed the Daytona 500. He's a, you know, Formula One world champion, you know, Indianapolis 500 champion. But, you know, you, uh, as much as it hurts, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, it, it, it was uh, it was hard to accept that. But once, you know, no excuses. I mean, it happened. And, you know, once you, you get knocked down as fast as you, you, your body hits the ground, you got to bounce back up and keep digging. You know, we're fighters, we're winners, and uh, you can't let that slow you down for the future. So, you know, my, my team's working hard and, uh, and we'll rebound, but that one hurt, man. I, I didn't see that one coming in. A, you know, I didn't see that one coming, but, but it happens. It, it's part of, part of the business we're in, but Dude, I would have right. never thought that, you know, and the people behind me that I did out qualify, I think three or four of them got to run the race, man. 